inside 50. It says that's how it's done. Alice World! Don't you want to be him? A measure of his respect. Take a bow! Take a curtain call! Boom of time! Has it gone? Split second to sum it up. Oh, oh Boomer, what a kick! Harvey, six goal! Six wow. of the best from Boomer Harvey. He brings it back. He brings it back, all right. What a goal! Boomer is king! Harvey swaps Simpson where he wanted him. Now breaks away. He'll back himself every single time. And that's why pure class. Breakaway, Brent kicks another. Wait was out of position, but Harvey wasn't. It's like a low-hanging fruit for Brent Harvey. Just pluck and kick. Now, Harvey's away. We'll take some pluck in here. Harvey open goal, and it skips through. Wells gets a hand pass to Harvey. Loves this situation. Accelerates with a curve. It's a goal. Harvey off a step. He might get the right bounce here. Rolling it home, I reckon. He's got it. Closing in on Tucky and another goal. Don't tell me Boone is going to keep going. Go for home. It's a high one down to Harvey, asking a lot of him. Will he crumb to Collingwood players? Turns around and celebrates a goal. Big night, big effort. Wide to Harvey. Harvey, oh yes. Oh, how's that? 426 games worth. He is the best of the best. Boomer. This very special footballer will break uh, the all-time games record VFL AFL set by Michael Tuck. It stood for 25 years. Many believed it would never be broken. He plays game number 427. It's taken 21 seasons. He is a legend of the North Melbourne Footy Club and the AFL. Please welcome Brent Boomer Harvey. <laughs> Hey, Boom, you deserve... Oh. You are uh, in North Melbourne, people here, Jack. Yeah, no, that's uh, the cheer squad, big uh, selection of... Fantastic. Hey, you deserve everything that's come your way this week. It is an unbelievable achievement. Take us back to 1996, or even prior to that, you very, very nearly weren't drafted at all. And uh, Dennis Pagan... And the uh, recruiters down at North saw something in you that no-one else did and gave you a, a lifeline. Yeah, absolutely. I think Neville Stibbard was the man, the recruiting officer back then. He, um, he seen something. I don't think Dennis was too keen at the time, but um, Neville read my name out at pick 47 in a 95 draft. And I guess from there, I was 64 kilos, 164... Uh, sorry, 664 centimetres and 64 kilos. So not the biggest person going around JB, but um, I've managed to put on a few extra kilos and a couple of centimetres and, yeah, here today. And you play <laughs> the, the game on Saturday night. It's your 21st season. And you were telling us uh, in an interview during the week with Bill and I on Triple M that... Uh, Luke McDonald's just celebrated his 21st birthday, so you played your first league game before he was born. Yeah, we did. We, uh, we actually had a chat at the start of the year to see if we wanted to do a joint 21st, but um, <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't work. Luke had his own 21st. Boomer, so many highs and lows in your career, lots of highs. Do you have a, a favourite memory? Oh, I think it's an easy one for me. I've been lucky enough to play in a premiership in 99. Yeah. Um, I, got, I got drafted in 95 and we won the flag in 96. Um, I played in the reserves grand final that year, so we had an amazing year as a football club. 98 was probably the low one when we lost to Adelaide. I think we kicked 11-22, JB, yep. and, 
and probably should have won the, the grand final that year, but we didn't, so had to wait 12 months and um, I was fortunate enough to play in the Premiership. But you are lucky because there's been many great players that have actually never won a Premiership. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, today, yeah. an amazing phone call. I had a phone call from Bobby Skelton. I think he's a three-time Brownlow medalist and um, he gave me a call today and that's um, it's a little bit embarrassing for me, these type of guys ringing me, but I look back at his career and he's won three Brownlows and didn't play in a grand final. So. Uh, I uh, can count my blessings that I've been a Premiership player. Hopefully I'm a, I'm a two-time Premiership player before I finish, but... Uh, is, is, Michael, is Michael Tuck spoken to you? Uh, I spoke to Tucky a couple of weeks ago, Sam. I was lucky enough to get invited to a lunch that the AFL put on for me. Um, and the top ten most games players were there. Did I say that right? Yep. yep. Um, except for Bernie Quinlan. He had a prior engagement. Couldn't make it. But um, the rest of the guys were there and walking in and seeing Robert Harvey and Craig Bradley and Simon Madden and the, the 400 Club guys, it was, um, it was pretty humbling. It was a little bit embarrassing, to be honest. And you also received a phone call from another gentleman who must be included in this conversation, and that's the great Barry Cable, a two-time pre Premiership player at North, but a 400 gamer for Perth in the Waffle and uh, also North Melbourne. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I mean, Bobby Skilton, I had some amazing phone calls. You know, um, Matty Pavlich te texted me today. Um, the list goes on and on, but um, to hear from such greats, not only of our football club, JB, but of the AFL, Barry Cable and these type mm. of guys, it's, um, you pick up your phone and they, you read it and you think, oh my God, they're, they're texting me, so it's a little bit embarrassing, but um, I understand the occasion. Um, I'm looking forward to it, sharing it with my friends and family. When you speak of uh, Michael Tuck, I understand you're, you're wearing a long sleeve Guernsey this weekend, is that right? Uh, not for the entire game, Bernie. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't played in a long sleeve before, so mm -hmm. I don't think I'll don it for the whole game. Um, I'll certainly play, pay tribute to, to Tucky. He's held the record for 25 years now and um, he's been an outstanding um, contributor to our, to our game. So. Um, I think he was actually going to be at the game as well, but he's a little bit crook, um, I think, at the minute. So, pass my um, best wishes to Tucky, but I'll be wearing a long sleeve jumper for the warm-up. Well, well, there's been some, uh, there's been some frustrating moments, and uh, uh, your book has, uh, has caused mm. some controversy. Has it? Uh, it, well, it, it has, <laughs> but um, I'm going to read out, this is one of the chapters that was reducted, which means, or redacted, I think is mm. the word. It's actually uh, been taken out because you might have thought it was embarrassing. I'll read this out. This is not in the book now. It well, was in originally. Really? <laughs> this is chapter 19. Yes. That's the, the, the chapter heading is, The Gold Coast, here we come. The Brayshaw Bungle. The only real, this is uh, Brent uh, speaking, the only real low light in my time at North is when I heard the club was moving to the Gold Coast, then didn't. I don't like to say who was to blame for this, but if you said James Brayfor Brayshaw, shit, you'd be close. <laughs> when I heard the move was on, my kids cried with joy. My wife, Shane, organised the sale of our family home. I bought a convertible and we invested my entire life savings in a small condom. Co <laughs> Yes. Condominium. Yes. Condominium on Stradbroke Island. But then along came Brayshaw and snuffed out our dreams. What a poor excuse for a chairman. Actually, I take that back. What a poor excuse for a man. <laughs> My children still can't say his name. My youngest bought a Brayshaw badge from the merchandise shop just so she could melt it. <laughs> My wife, to her credit, still listens to the rush hour, but only when Bill is speaking. I have included the following photo of James, not because it is relevant to my story, but because it gives him the shits <laughs> every time it is seen. No! <laughs> that four gives me immense <laughs> pleasure. That is not in the book. That was redacted uh, yes. on uh, Brent's uh, advice and request. Um, <laughs> just, just before we get on to much more important things, in the book, um, you walk back a couple of things you said in the book, a couple of controversial things. Does that mean they weren't true? No, not at all, Sam. I think so on, you walked um, them back? On Monday I did a press conference, we spoke about the book. Mate, to be honest, uh, we've put that behind me now. Um, it's not, not true. If you read the book, oh, what, I, what I can say, go, go buy the book because that's when everything happens. And you can read it all properly and... And then it tells a true story, not just the snippets of what the papers, Herald Sun, the Age. Not just the salacious <laughs> Absolutely. Bernie, um, you still have a goal, and this happened on the weekend, a lovely snap goal. 
I want to ask you who you're pointing at in a minute. Look at this around the corner. He's done that 800 and uh, 400 times here. Points to the crowd. Trent Drumont, the Frenchman, Trent Dumont, <laughs> Dumont. comes over. <laughs> it's hard to say that. And he points to the crowd too. Who are you pointing at? Uh, before the game, Billy, we're doing a warm-up and we're in the uh, goal square doing our leg swings and yeah. doing the things you do before the before the game. And it was right in front of the Collingwood cheer squad and about 16, 15 of them had said, uh, hey, Harvey, stand up. <laughs> so um, we had a bit of a chuckle. Yeah. They had a chuckle as well. So when I kicked that goal, I just pointed him out in the crowd and um, yeah. Froggy came over and gave me a little bit of a help as well. He didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know what he was doing. No, he didn't know what he was doing. Very nice, mate. Obviously, it's a fantastic effort. I just, for the people here, you know, you played 426 games, 38. It's probably unfair. Blokes are still tagging you. You know, you just want to <laughs> run around and do your own thing. Has there been someone over the career though that's actually got under your skin, a tagger in particular that you just haven't enjoyed matching up on? And... Yeah, I've just heard a couple of shouts here. I think everyone's expecting me to say Ryan Crowley. Uh, he's certainly <laughs> done a, a really good job, no doubt. I think the hardest tagger for me was probably Sean Hart. Um, used to play for the Brisbane Lions. <laughs> He was so fit and um, so disciplined to what he had to do and um, I couldn't get away from him. He was really quick as well. So normally I match up and I think if he's fit, I can out-sprint him. If he's, if he's um, very quick, I can outrun him. But with Hardy, I couldn't do either. So he's probably the one that sticks out. Bill? Uh, big game Saturday night, of course. It's the mighty North Melbourne side taking on some Lindsay Thomas kicked five, he was on fire, and just one change, Jared Wake comes in, and Matt Jack Daw has been omitted, but I think he might have been concussed, we'll ask you about that. Take on the mighty Saints, who are unbelievable under the roof. A great win over the Dogs by 15 points, Revol kicked four, and the Skunk kicked two, he's going to write to me, memory. Out goes, the, uh, in comes the wrist hole. Uh, Minchington mm. and out goes a Sinclair there omitted Jack Stephen unbelievable form good game this under the roof we know how good St Kilda are but you would think and expect the mm -hmm. mighty North Melbourne side to get over the line yeah and the same it's going to be a real close game St Kilda in some real good form especially over the last couple of weeks but I think uh, in the big milestone game that North Melbourne can get up for it Sam <laughs> Um, watching last week, I felt like North got their mojo back. Um, you know, that first quarter was fantastic. And I think that they'll continue on that form for this great man and they'll have a win and shore up that top eight spot. No, it is amazing to think you can play 127 games and you think that's a fair innings and yep. then you play another 300 on it top of amazing. it. Okay. Uh, but I'm not going to give a tip. Come over here. Come over here. This is, uh, this is, I'm deferring to my uh, special tipster here. Oh, here he is. Uh, uh, come in here. Who's this he going to go for? This is, uh, come in here. This is uh, Cooper. This is Brent's son. Now, Cooper, what do you think? Uh, what about your dear old dad? And um, who do you think will win and what do you think of him? Um, Come on now. <laughs> a lot of questions. I don't know. Yeah. Who do you think's going to win first? You better speak into this microphone. Well, we're, we're no, he's right. Hey, yeah, Boomer, we're... stand up. I reckon he's got you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that, that far off me, mate. Don't worry. Cooper, right. who's going to win? Ah, uh, Kangas will win. Yeah. yeah. Now, what about your dad? Come on. Say you something you nice seen about all, him. Have you seen all, most of his games since you've been born? Oh, I've missed a few. You missed a few. <laughs> And what do you think? He's a nuggety little great player, isn't he? And are you proud that you've got a dad who's the all-time record holder for the AFL, our great national game? Yeah. Oh. Well said. Well said. I'm over there. Down there. Sit on that. Sit on that. I'm going to tip, um, I'm going to tick north as well. I just want to ask you, Boomer, you, will you actually be able to enjoy the moment or just before or I mean you obviously have to focus on winning this game it's a really important one yeah Beck the most important thing for me is singing the song at the end of the game with the boys um, we need to secure that 12th win to, to make the finals and that's the biggest thing I, I think the other thing for me is enjoying it with my friends and family Coops will run out Lacey and, and Hudson will run out with me as well so I'm not only playing for me and representing myself here, but all, all my friends at home that I grew up with and didn't get a chance to play one AFL game, um, all my family that's helped me out over a long period of time, all the North Melbourne people, the volunteers. Uh, I play 
for everyone like that. So when I run out, I'll be thinking of everyone that's helped me over a long period of time. Brent, may I say, Shane must be an absolute film star, mate, if um, this is the product of the yeah, boy, isn't got <laughs> striking. Uh, yeah, no, she, he's thrown to the... Uh, no, down. lucky he looks yeah. like he's, he's our mum. <laughs> yeah. Right. Bill? Uh, we got some great memorabilia, haven't we, here, we, Joshy? We do. The great people at ASICS, they never miss a beat and they've made a fantastic boot for Boomer and his uh, big milestone game. You got your initial on the back there, Coop, along with the, uh, the rest of the siblings. So, very special moment and um, I'm sure you'll love wearing that in the weekend, Boomer. Absolutely. Great. Make a good boot, Josh, don't they? they? ASICS are the number one. They make a great boot. And also, here it is here, the North Melbourne... Uh, Football Club have released the ultimate tribute to Boomer. There it is there, the record breaker, 427 jumper. Personally signed by Boom Boom, of course. Features all the stats down here um, and is strictly limited edition. Valued at 995 bucks, but get in, there's not too many of them. And all you have to do is go to aroushop.com.au. So get one of those, that is magnificent for the Boom Boom. And what is also interesting, anyone else? <laughs> You'll pick 47. you played 427 games. Corey Enright, guess pick what he, he was. Four, um, 47, and he's 326 games. That's that is not amazing. bad, is it? No, they've done well out of those two clubs. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, the word <laughs> shin boner is one that we hold very dear at our footy club, and I don't think in the modern era there is anyone who's epitomised what the values and standards of a shin boner are more than yourself. We're very, very proud of you. You're going to be the all-time games record holder after Saturday yes. night, and it couldn't happen to a better person. Well, right. thanks, Jabba. Well, well,